ever wondered how pilots manage to fly huge planes when it's totally dark outside? No sun, no landmarks, just night all around? Sounds tricky, right? Well, I did my full research on how pilots can handle flying at night, what they rely on, how they stay safe, and the results I found is quite crazy if you think about it, let me explain. Most of the light comes from inside the cockpit. There's a soft glow from the instruments, buttons, screens, kind of like the dashboard of a car but way more high-tech. You've also got little lamps that light up your charts and paperwork. It's calm, kind of quiet, and honestly, kind of peaceful. But that doesn't mean it's easy. Flying at night comes with a whole new set of challenges. Can planes use headlights? Let's get this out of the way. Planes don't really have headlights like cars do. They have landing lights, which are super bright and help during takeoff and landing. But once the plane is up in the air, those lights aren't really useful. Why? Because there's nothing to shine light on. It's not like driving on a road where the light reflects off trees or pavement. In the sky, there's nothing to bounce the light back. It just disappears into the darkness. So instead of relying on lights to see where they're going, pilots use instruments. Instruments do all the talking. When you can't see outside, your instruments become your eyes. Pilots are constantly looking at screens and gauges that show altitude, speed, direction, pitch, and other stuff. There's one called the attitude indicator. Not about mood, don't worry. It shows if the plane is level, climbing, or diving. There's also the altimeter, which shows how high you are, and the heading indicator, which tells you which direction you're going. At night, these tools are your best friends. They tell you everything, even when outside looks like nothing. City lights versus darkness. Flying over a big city at night can actually help a lot. When everything else outside is dark, a city lights up like a giant glowing map. You can see it from really far away, sometimes even before you're close to it. All the street lights, buildings, cars, and signs blend together into this glowing, twinkling sea of lights. It's honestly one of the most amazing views you can get from a plane. It almost looks like the ground is covered in stars. You can spot the grid of streets, the shape of neighborhoods, even the darker patches where parks or lakes are. It gives you a good idea of where you are without even needing to check the instruments. For pilots, it's a nice visual reference. Even though they rely on their screens and tools to fly, having that big glow of a city down below helps you feel a bit more grounded. Like, okay, I know where I'm at. And for passengers, it's just plain awesome to look at. But flying over water, or mountains, or places where hardly anyone lives? That's a whole different story! It can be completely dark out there, like pitch black. No lights from houses, no roads, no buildings, sometimes not even the moon, just straight up darkness in every direction. When you're flying in spots like that, you can't look out the window and figure out where you are. It's not like flying over a city where the lights help guide you. Out there, it feels like you're just floating in nothing. That's when pilots really have to rely on their instruments. The screens and gauges in front of them become their eyes. They tell them how high they are, which way they're going, and if the plane is level or not. Pilots also fall back on all the training they've gone through. Hours and hours of practice flying in the dark, or in bad weather, where they can't see outside. Though even when the view out the window is just blackness, the pilots still know exactly what's going on. They've got the tools and the know-how to handle it. Night Vision Tricks Here's something cool. The human eye takes time to adjust to darkness. Pilots usually dim the cockpit lights so their eyes can adjust. It's kind of like how your eyes need time when you go into a dark movie theater. Some military planes even use night vision goggles, but in commercial flying, it's all about managing light, staying alert, and using technology. Runway Lights The Pilots Welcome Matt when it's time to land, airports light up like Christmas. Runways have all kinds of lights, white, green, blue, red, each one telling the pilot something important. The runway edge lights are white, green lights show where the runway begins, red lights tell you when you're running out of runway. Taxiway lights are usually blue, it's like a glowing path leading the plane safely to the gate. IL says, the invisible landing guide. 
One of the coolest tools at night is something called the ILS, or Instrument Landing System. It's like a radio guide that helps the plane line up perfectly with the runway, even if the pilots can't see it yet. The plane locks onto this invisible beam, and it guides the aircraft down at the perfect angle. It's super helpful, especially when there's fog, rain, or it's just really dark. Communication is key. At night, pilots are constantly talking to air traffic control. They're getting updates on weather, traffic, and runway instructions. When you can't see another plane out the window, it's good to know someone on the ground has eyes on everything. ATC keeps everything running smoothly and safely, especially during busy nighttime hours. Is night flying more dangerous? So, is it more dangerous to fly at night? Not really, but it does take more focus. Visibility is low, and it's easier to get disoriented. That's why night flying requires special training. Pilots learn how to deal with darkness, how to read instruments better, and how to stay alert when the world outside looks like a black screen. Pilot tricks to stay awake. Let's be real, flying late at night can get tiring. So how do pilots stay sharp? They drink coffee, chat with co-pilots, stay busy with checklists, and take turns resting. On long flights, there are extra pilots so they can rotate and take breaks. No one flies tired. That's a big rule. Cabin lights and passenger experience. Ever notice how they dim the cabin lights during takeoff and landing at night? That's not just for mood lighting. It actually helps your eyes adjust in case of an emergency. If something goes wrong and people need to get off the plane quickly, like in an emergency, it helps a lot if your eyes are already used to the dark. That's actually why they dim the cabin lights before takeoff and landing at night. It's not just to make things look cool or calm everyone down, it's a safety thing. When your eyes adjust to the low light, you're able to see the glowing exit signs way better. If the lights suddenly go out or smoke fills the cabin, those signs will be the only thing helping you find your way out. And if your eyes are already used to the dark, you won't waste time adjusting. You'll see them right away. Pretty smart, right? It's a, it's a little thing, but it could make a big difference when every second counts. Why some pilots love flying at night. Believe it or not, a lot of pilots actually like flying at night more than during the day. And it's not just because it looks cool up there with all the stars and city lights. There are some real reasons behind it. First off, the air is usually smoother at night. There's less heat coming off the ground, which means fewer bumpy pockets of air. That means not as much turbulence, and the ride feels more steady. You're not bouncing around as much, which is nice for both the pilots and the passengers. Also, storms like thunderstorms are more common during the day when the sun heats everything up. At night, there's usually fewer of them to deal with, so the weather tends to be more calm. And there's another bonus, less traffic. Fewer planes are flying around at night compared to the daytime rush hours, so the skies aren't as crowded. That makes things a little easier for pilots and air traffic control. You're not having to dodge as many other flights or wait in long lines to take off or land. All in all, night flying can actually be more relaxing for the pilots. It's quieter, smoother, and just a bit more peaceful up there. And the view? Absolutely stunning. You get a clear view of the stars, the moon, lightning storms from a distance, and cities glowing far below. It's peaceful, quiet, and kind of magical. Final thoughts. And that's how pilots fly at night. It takes skill, training, and a whole lot of trust in your instruments. But with all the tools they have today, flying in the dark isn't scary, it's just a different kind of flying. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this.